time and time again, I'm gonna keep saying it, for loan officers right now, if you wanna succeed, the easy, nothing's easy, but the way to succeed right now is your debt consolidation cash out refinances. That's where you're gonna have to be in the next couple of years because this market is getting thinner and thinner. Now, Oak Tree is here to help you out with their bank statement loans. So you don't necessarily have to have a full doc deal. You could use 12 months bank statements or you could even use just like a straight 1099. Check out their cash out refinances with Oak Tree. They'll help you with some of your non-conforming borrowers. All you have to do is click this banner right over there. All right, Joanna, I do find this fascinating. I, I I really do, okay? Hear me out. So the Fifth Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals found that the CFPB, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, is unconstitutional. And I guess they should be disbarred, disbanded, torn to shreds, put in a wood chipper, and had their ground salted and cursed by the very demons of Babylon themselves. To put it more accurately, the 5th U.S. Court of Appeals decided that the CFPB was unconstitutional and they're not going to do a thing about it. See, the CFPB has already been found to be unconstitutional with their one director model. And now the fact that everybody at the CFPB gets paid by the Federal Reserve of the United States. Yes, the Federal Reserve that is not a government agency. That Federal Reserve, that private one, pays for the CFPB. The courts found the CFPB unconstitutional and now that we know that, are we going to shut them down? Are we going to void their rulings in the past? You know, those rulings that have cost banks billions upon billions of dollars over decades, or are we just going to quietly ignore this because that's exactly where we wanna be? And it's really a question for you, but doesn't it feel like we're just going to do nothing about this whatsoever? And my question is why? Like, why is that okay? So the CFPB is structured illegally and their one ruler director, which we've already decided years ago, we're gonna do absolutely nothing about and now we have another ruling that says the CFPB is illegal in its formation and what are we going to do about it I mean my thinking is nothing what do you think Christopher Whalen, chairman of Whalen Global Advisors, said in an interview with Market Watch that was published last Thursday that mortgage rates could easily touch 10% by February, even if Fed Chair Jerome Powell and other policymakers signal a pause in interest rate hikes at the central bank's last meeting of the year in December. 10% interest rates, it seems kind of crazy, but the moral to the story is simple and precise. If you're thinking about a move today, do it because it's going to be more expensive tomorrow. Rates are going to go up 10, maybe not, but they're going up. However, the the biggest play is this. The loan that you fund today is absolutely not, not, not the loan that your client is going to have a year or maybe two years from now. And this is exactly what lenders hate to hear. Non-performing loans, and that's exactly what we're writing right now. These loans written today are widely believed to be temporary in nature. If you fund someone at 7.5% today, they will refi into the fours in 2023 or maybe 2024, but it's going to happen. So if we know this, and we do, stop writing 30-year fixed loans. Put everyone in a three or a five one arm. They're cheaper, easier to sell, and oh yeah, they make perfect sense. In other related news, you guys are going to be thrilled to hear this. Fannie Mae Chief Economist Douglas G. Duncan just received an award for his forecast accuracy. Yeah, this just in. A pilot just received an award for landing a plane. A UPS driver received one for delivering an order. And a McDonald's employee received an award for putting together a Big Mac. Why are we giving away awards to economists for doing exactly what they're supposed to do? Guys, the federal government has set the bar so low that it now offers awards for doing exactly what you were hired to do. Now, now of the award, Duncan said, it is a real honor for Fannie Mae Forecast Team to be recognized with the Lawrence R. Klein Award. While it is a permanent challenge to accurately forecast macroeconomic activity, it has been particularly difficult during this period, including the pandemic. The advent of unparalleled monetary and fiscal policy actions combined with a lack of health-related historical information on which to base modeled forecasts, it requires an atypical amount of judgment and humility. And all I have to say is, where the hell is my award? I just forecast that when you put 75% of everybody out of work and you print $9 trillion more trillion, that you're going to have hell to pay down the road, and now we're paying it. Where's my award? What do you guys think?